welcome back to the beautiful world of Vivi, where the visuals are nice, the songs are beautiful, and yet... The ever-present danger of the entire human race being annihilated is... Uh, well, just around the corner. A hundred years to stop something like this, and we've already gone through... I'm not, I'm not actually sure. Fair chunk. Like a quarter of it. What kind of other... Events? What kind of other... Large-scale... Movements, plans, operations. Are they in place? It might be good to see. But I know that no one is outside the realm of being expendable. We've lost some characters already. Everyone we see in these little, seemingly somewhat unconnected stories, although there is a fo follow through with the, that one anti AI guy. We can't take anyone for granted. They might crop up a little older in the next one. But after a week, I may have recovered after things we've seen. But might as well try this episode. So we have now a cathedral looking thing. Kind of run down. I see. So he's marrying an AI, not in a an actual church or anything, because it would probably not be allowed, but I wonder what the laws are or anything like that in this case. Is there precedent for such a thing? Is she transmitting data? Oh. Private Island. The scene of another event to take place. A hit from many years ago. I mean, her stage presence is just exponentially rising. And some of the... Uh, some of the visuals and funding towards her songs, uh, that's uh, going up as well. But seeing that a little island with a, a church on it transformed into whatever it was in the uh, alternate timeline. But since we are changing the future, changing events, how much of it is... stuck in time you know there are some things that can't be changed after you change that one thing getting the building safe stopping the sunrise from from falling well not really finding on the true culprit at least how many of the events that were to happen are not actually going to take place She has a little bit of a following. Quite a nice place she's got there. And as... Speak of the devil! Hello there. Unable to... Ah... Uh, 
So his... Oh, it's bigger than I thought. The His body itself actually existed this time, so... Hmm. I... Well, for a, like, amusement park kind of thing, having that kind of holographic interaction. I mean, unless there's others out there who is rewriting things. Well, that's a bit tatty. And actually seeing that he's stayed in that bear and everything that is for the past five years while the girl has grown and she's still kept it probably needs a, a quite quick clean or something, but kept it safe and Exactly. After you've gone through so much, others have stopped operating. Tron. Oh, oh no. <laughs> War machine. I mean, it's good to see that Tesla is still going strong. But what's going on here? Why is he being chased by Matsumoto? Ah, damn it. What is that used for? I mean... A cube that can fly is still just a cube. <laughs> but they just jumped in and saved him anyway. Seeing her sat in the back there probably uh, helped with him just agreeing to this. Uh, heard about it. I see. She was the role model. The... A little sister you could be proud of. Unmanned offshore plant run by AIs, creating AIs. Let's hope that doesn't go wrong. Things have really been expedited, so have they just cut their time from 100 years down to like 75? Uh, he's a fan. <laughs> he was there. I mean, 
if he is going to become a potential ally, So they are still the ever-present little, well, maybe not so little, force to be somewhat reckoned with. Well, that's cool. It's an actual virus. <laughs> A storage device that was made to imitate the structure of a virus. They'd be the perfect people to get in and do that right now. He was a member. What happened? Yeah, if it can be used to more thing, <laughs> damn it, used to more things than just shutting down the island. If it can shut down so much more, because it was so nice before before it was taken over. He comes with a full soundboard. So useful for a cube. I mean, if it's a island of AI and he's the only human there. That includes... That includes his... Yeah, more than some others. Yeah. More than most. She would go to... How she answers this is going to be important. The plants themselves come over to be wa uh, to be watered. This is so advanced. Although I'd be, well, actually, no, I don't have any plants. <laughs> okay. Well, if they could be manufactured. Uh, Grace was a celebrity? Ah, celebrity. As long as nothing goes horribly wrong with that, uh, with that arrangement. Ah, that might be used as a thumbnail. <laughs> We're back into her mindscape. Okay. So it really is just leveraging the animosity of AIs and humans to a point. Their marriage is no longer important. Well, as long as we don't have to go in and uh, 
ruin what they have as well. To make sure it doesn't affect you. Wow. For... For him to know what the future may hold if they actually are successful. Wow. Hello there, M00205. This is their first time they have to... They don't know what to do. Let's put out a few delicacies and do some proper... Let's just sh let him show you around. He might... He's not quite as advanced as some other AIs out there. Doesn't need to be. I mean, in a city like this, which is run by AIs, for AIs, with only AIs, everything having its own job... Everything will know it's... Everything will know its own uh, place and duties. And go tirelessly. Is she going to slowly be affected by all of this? Um, it's beautiful. Let me put it on the fridge. <laughs> Duly authenticated. I mean, they... Ah, quite adept at climbing some of that. I guess the tracks are useful. Future human guests. I'm, they've really... rolled out the red carpet, haven't they? I mean, so everything's got to start somewhere. That they are thinking about the future where they might... Where they might get visitors. They tried their hardest. <laughs> I'd prefer if the sign wasn't written in Greece, though. I'm getting a weird, like, Neo Automata vibe from that. <laughs> it was one that, uh, a long time ago. The fact that it would have affected her that much. It 
in warning interruption now releasing the main terminals access but I see they're now under attack there's a hostile force well that was that was fast we've only just arrived Well, if that was always an option from the beginning. Why a liquid, though? How does that help? The Imaginarium, what could be oh, the best friend in all this place. Maybe he can judge what cute means there. Did, was that just a loss of himself there for the mission? Boom. He has a duty he must perform. They are narrator running to save the floating island. <laughs> With ruthless efficiency. Are they I was about to say sacrificing themselves? What does what, what does she hope to achieve in this circumstance? Is this just a random Toic member? Of course. That beard can tell me everything. A invasion into this island. It's funny because what we're tr what they're trying to stop is the conflict between AIs and humans, and everything they've done so far is because I slightly set back. The progress of AIs, like this one, is to stop the design. It's 20 years too early. The first thing with the building was to stop the... Or at least slow down the signing of the law, which... The naming thing. To give them rights. And also, the amount of times that this dude keeps showing up, it would not surprise me at all if that scientist who, who set this entire fucking thing in motion was him in the future, just a severe change of heart. The one that he had so much contact with. And the final domino. But the idea of the human AI couple Stranger things have happened. In fact, things like that are have happened already in, in our timeline. But for it to be like celebrity first first class news 
is it really that that big of a deal? <laughs> Changing history to the point where it's completely flipped. We had the Estelle, the the worst vagrant AI causing all the devastation thanks to the sunrise. Well, actually, no, she's the saviour. Thanks to her valiant sacrifice, as well as Elizabeth, although she didn't get the credit. But now some of their production force went out to uh, neutralise the invaders. Uh, I think some levels of construction and everything is going to be put on hold, or at least put back slightly, so that's good towards the mission. How easy are they to replace? How easy was it for Vivi to... the show, Vivi, to get us to slightly... empathise with that little little robot M. Seeing the vision for the future, having a guest centre, having the, the, the kids to have somewhere to play and enjoy themselves. Only for, I think, him to be wiped clean? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. But uh, with the mentions of the mother computer, I'm guessing we'll be having some conversations there. Grace, some other mention names that were mentioned. I wonder what will occur going forward. Is the scientist dude researcher fully prepared to, well, for the consequences of just shutting down this island? We've got this big city, we've got these construction droids, we've got the advancements of AIs 20 years prior to what they should be. We've got the future encroaching so rapidly, we've still got Toak out there trying to cause havoc, get their own way. In the end we might actually think, oh, they were actually, they had the right idea. I think that one dude who seems to be at the centre of it all. Maybe uh, coming across them constantly. Saving their lives uh, on almost every occasion. You see, there's, that's the kind of problem though, isn't it? With them changing the future for the better. Getting it so we've got Estelle being the saviour of, uh, uh, of Sunrise. Having the... The standing of AIs rise so high in society where we're getting such to this point now. Where everything is increased, everything is more emphasis being put on AIs. So the more they do well, make them stand out, the faster it's 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 evolving. Just hopefully not to the point where it gets that final threshold where, oh, it's gullet time. Exactly what has gone on or why it's occurred or any like is still far out of my understanding. But seeing Vivi get maybe not emotionally distressed by the, the the song that was played but at least it activated certain of her certain neurons that she of hers why that song why that song in particular how did mother computer know other than just you know, looking into the backlog so up ah, vivi ah, singing thing uh, one of her songs done and considering pretty much every every past mission that we've seen so far and everything that has occurred, there is some drastic heartbreak at the end of it. You know, Momoka, the, 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 the sisters. So I'm guessing this thing with the with the with the with, with, with the scientist dude and Grace is not going to end well. So already having to prepare myself for that. If I'm right, which I kind of hope I'm not, but. If I'm right, then damn.
All in all, I hope you've enjoyed Vivi. There's probably plenty of songs to come in the future. I wonder if Matsumoto is going to change his form once again. Give up on the cube. But we'll have to watch it to find out. If you don't want to miss what's coming in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe even join to my Discord. But for now, get yourselves a bit of a rest. See you in the next one. If you want to help build up my reception desk so I don't scare off any potential new visitors, consider joining onto my Patreon and help the channel grow bigger than faster than it ever can before. And with that in mind, I really need to thank Noku, Raywin, Sal, Arfia, Kite, Shiwan, Mats, Gurley, Cardboard, Croyville, Gintaman, Scott, Raymond, Megu42, Darkshadow7899, and everyone else. I just hope we really don't have to sacrifice anything in order to continue watching anime on the internet. Because you can just sit back and enjoy whatever I bring, bring along, I guess.